Hey guys, so this is a bit of a video on an introduction on Shopify. Um, if you haven't used Shopify before, it's an e-commerce solution. You may have heard it, about it in the past and many e-commerce websites that you see online these days, if you were to scroll right down to the bottom, you'd see something like powered by Shopify or you'd see some kind of a label or logo of Shopify. For us, Shopify really is just an e-commerce platform to help us build our store. And if you haven't used, if you if you don't develop websites or you have nothing, you've got no clue about HTML or design or anything like that, really, then this is pretty much the solution for you. So what I usually use is just the basic version. Twenty nine dollars per month is good enough to get started. You don't need you don't need this. You don't need these extra things that this offers um, at this point in time. Maybe later on, once you're doing big numbers and you're you're actually making a saving on these. Um, charges then you can you can select this kind of a deal but for now a basic Shopify uh, um, model is good for you so if you want to click start free trial and let's just make an account so I'm, let's just make an account and I'll put in my details and for your store name you don't really need anything specific because what it's going to give you is it's going to give you a URL like this so Grabify, uh, grabfrenzy.myshopify.com. So, this is my store name, right? And this is the back end of my store. The front end of my store actually doesn't have that URL. It's just grabfrenzy.com. So, what, people don't actually see this. What you put here. So, I could have had, you know, uh, Australia in there, and people wouldn't see that because it's it's directing everyone to a a domain name which I purchased and, and pointed my Shopify store to. That's a little bit complicated, let's not get into that. So for now, simplistically, just choose a store name, you know, something like, um, if you want, Kathy's store or something like that. For now, we'll just go with um, cool store, fine. It's a lame name, but you get the idea. And so you can make a free trial. Now the 14 day free trial, it's kind of a, they give you 14 days for free, but it's very limited in what you can use for free. For example, you can't, last time I checked, you couldn't add products in the free trial. And there's no real point in having a store with no products. So the free trial is really just to get your head around a few little things. Oh man. Yeah. You have to fill in all this stuff. Blah 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 blah. Oops. Shouldn't have done that. So you can go ahead and fill in all of this stuff. Um, put in your address, etc. So now you're now what we have is just a basic kind of shop front. So the first time you log into Shopify, you're gonna see something like this. So your trial has just started, you've got nothing, got no income, you've got no traffic, you've got nothing. So what you can kind of do is you can go ahead and set up a few things. For for example, um, you can customize the look of your website. So if you want to set up a theme, and, and now if you were to go to cool Shopify, cool storefund.myshopify.com, it should show your store. Which it does. So that's your, what your store looks like. It's got nothing there really. So now it's up to us to actually customize this. So you want to add your pages. You want to go to, um, sorry. You want to click on pages and add the pages that you want. You want to add the content for those pages. Um, go to products. Go to products. Uh, so if you were to go to products and then you were, you, if you were to click on add new product and add the images for each product, then it's going to populate over here. Right? Oh, I can choose a product. Okay, yeah, cool. Again, so yeah, so you make a product. So what you want to do is you want to create your pages. You want to go ahead and create your pages. You want to go ahead and add your products. And, um, and then that's the front end. Pretty much done. Pages, products. And then at the back end, you want to set up your shipping and your credit card payments and your PayPal so that you can start to receive in um, money once people start making orders and 
the one last thing I want to show you is um, where is it? Where do you go? Where do you go? What is products, customers, reports, settings? Oh, we're already there. So what I wanted to do, what I wanted to show you guys is these themes. So you, your store can pretty much look anything like these before um, in front of you. So you got free themes. You can visit the theme store and check out more themes if you want. And it's going to give you a few options. You can go free or you can go paid themes. Now, you can go, you can buy a theme if you want, $160, but the free theme does a good enough job, right? You don't need your, your theme to look amazingly kind of enticing or, or something like, you know, the icon.com or anything like that. These are all paid preliminary themes. You don't, you don't need that. Oh, sorry, premium themes. You just need the free, the free themes are good enough. If you got something like this, it's good enough to actually start selling. It's good enough to send traffic and get purchases. So if you want, you know, let's click this, install the theme, publish as my shop's theme, and once you let it do its thing, which shouldn't take too long at all, that's it. Now you can go to your theme manager, and if you were to refresh this, the theme's going to change to what we 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 kind of installed before. So you can customize this in the theme manager, right? So now we're in the theme manager, you can customize your theme and you can add different things like the color of the background, you can change the text font, the font of the text, um, you can change the image that you want here, the text that you want this to see, you can change um, what, what collections or categories you want to have appeared here. Um, what what pages you want down here? What um, widgets you want here? So if you want someone to put in their email, or if you want a search bar, etc., etc. And that's basically it. Shopify is pretty simple, right? I'll I'll let you guys kind of go through this and and modify this the way you'd want it to do. But uh, for the most part, like I said, you don't need much coding skills. You really just need to know how to use this thing. So you click on what you want, change it. For example, if I click on Typography, typography, I don't even know how to say it. Um, I click on, you know, Quantico. Should change the font of my theme. There. See, it's changed the font of my theme. Simple. Right? Really, really, really simple stuff. You change the size of it, you can change, you know, you can capitalize everything, bold everything if you want, whatever you want. So that's Shopify, you can play around with it, and I'll leave that up to you.